Hello there, and thank you for joining me again for the third part in this quick immune boosting Qigong session. I'm today going to give you a couple of basic, very simple exercises just to help build that um, the Wei Qi or your immune system. So really looking at lungs and spleen and just rising that immune energy up from deep inside up to the surface of the skin, which is really the first thing that's going to come into contact with the air around us, with pathogens, and with the various uh, impurities that are in the air around us. So first of all, nice and simple, hands down, knees slightly bent, shoulder width apart. On the inhalation, the hands float up. So we're breathing in and exhaling. If you can, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. An exercise that can be done from the chair as well. And we'll do one more. The next one is we're stepping out with our left leg diagonally across from us, leaning forward, right hand on the inside, and we just lean back, spread those wings. The ball of the foot's over there, you just notice it's just coming up. Leaning forward, the heel, the back foot lifting up, and we're leaning back. So we're going like that, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Just building up that lung strength, the two pumps, the heart and the lungs. This also helps relieve associated symptoms of the weak immune system with anxiety, stress relief, and those are the low moods that come sometimes with winter. But bringing that right back into that center dantian, leaning forward, and bringing that. We'll do that one more time. Nice and simple now, we're going to do some tapping. So hand into a, a cupped position rather than flat or slightly fisted or if you prefer just that simple hand position. And we're going to be going down our arms, up, down the arm, back up, swapping over right from on the shoulder. Then the side of the body, and all the way down, down the legs, down the legs and up the inside channel. Do it again. Down the side. Again, we're just trying to activate our immune system. Our way to feel all the way up onto the lungs. High up as you can get on the chest. Just giving those little taps. Maybe you want to use a woodpecker type hand, a bit like that. Just onto the top there. And then we're going to bring around a hand in a light fist, or I like to do a hand position a bit like that. Looking for Ren 17 on the chest, which is between the two nipples, really. And we just give that a tap. What we want to do here is feet shoulder width apart. If you're a male, they're facing forward. If you're a lady, slightly splayed. What we're going to do here is a bit of timeless tapping. So we go one decent strong tap and then two slightly softer. So it's tap. Now the thymus is vital in our immune system, it helps destroy viruses, and activates all sorts of secretions to affect our immune system. It starts off a nice big gland that governs our immune system when we're young, and just begins getting smaller as we go through our lives. If you can, we breathe in through the nose, so out through the mouth. Thyme has been most active the first few hours after we fall asleep. It's a great exercise to do before you go to sleep. It's a bit like King Kong, really. And again, you're just starting to reduce stress and anxiety as well. It's often associated with a weak immune system. And you can do that for about three to four minutes a day.
and in closing. So bringing the energy all the way past the face, and just allowing it to sink all the way down to that yong kong points, the center of the feet. Back into Mother Earth. One more nice big one, and then down all the way down to the center. Great. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is one of the exercises I bring into my Zoom drop-in Qigong sessions. Please feel free to reach out on Acacia Therapies if you have an interest to join one of my three weekly sessions. All the best.